Capricorn, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for me. I really appreciate that. I'm going to say a quick prayer and we're going to jump into it. I'm so excited to be here. This reading is timeless. If you would like to book a personal, the information is below. Just shoot me an email at Egyptian Intuition Tarot and we will take care of that for you. Okay. So I just got this little you know, Tumblr. My tea stays hot for like four hours. Um, I think they're kind of incredible. So just a fun fact. Um, <laughs> Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Capricorn on what to expect, what to look forward to, and what's going on. <clears throat> please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. Okay. So you're doing something non-stop like you're, there's something you're doing over and over again you could be checking something over and over again credit check something like i don't know some kind of check or a list you're double checking some type of list making sure you dotted all your i's and crossed all your t's something about june 23rd something about june 23rd could be significant um some of you could have a Rolex or you could be wanting to buy a Rolex. A Rolex could be like on your vision board. Um, some of you could be left-handed. Some of you get a lot of respect for something. Yeah, dog just sparked. Some of you, you switch something. You flip some type of switch. Yeah, a new beginning, standing in your power, yeah. That's literally what I see, like a light switch turned on. Something about London. Some of you guys could live in London or have some type of work base in London or Europe. But you're, you're getting recognition and reward for doing something by yourself without the help of anyone else. Yeah, the wait is over. The conflict is over. Going into Leo season, something's going to switch. Any type of disruption, I feel like it's over. Shopping for Capricorn, timeless. Holy Spirit, thank you. Yeah, solitude. Right now, you're taking time to work on your foundation. Something about September 4th through the 16th could be significant. Oh, some of you could have also experienced a death in your family. If not, something's just like completely transitioning in your life like Scorpio energy, death and rebirth. Um, okay, let's get into it. Okay. Whew. You could have found out about something, something that was said, something that you heard, some type of criticism, slander even I'm hearing, backlash. Lots of backlash. Like I see a, um, in my mind, I see someone like cooking and then like the oil just like splatters on like the backlash thing that catches, you know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, something definitely um, chakra disalignment is what I'm hearing. So you could be working on like regaining balance of your chakras, what I just fucking say. I don't do this for my, I don't do this for fun, man. This, well, it is fun for me, but listen to me, yo. <laughs> you're working, and this is Capricorn energy. I just peeped that. So you're, you're starting a new beginning, but there's a need to make sure you're utilizing your mind, body, and soul, and making sure that you're nurturing all of your chakras. Like I just said, something about a Virgo, finding delight. Maybe you're dealing with a Virgo or something like that, or you're finding more delight now that you're paying attention to yourself. You're no longer having fear. Some of you could be the age 35. Something about earth sign energy, your own energy with a Virgo energy. You need to make sure you're using your mind and making sure that you're not nurturing cycles just because it's comfortable. You're scared to, you're scared. I was trying to say afraid and scared. So you're a scared to be uncomfortable. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, but 
either me speaking to you right now is the truth or you're being honest with yourself like even when you're making these decisions you know what you're supposed to do but you're just trying to be compassionate unfortunately i feel like it's time to end all that shit the compassion and the nurturing of things that don't resonate with you because it's doing you more harm than good it's time to stand in your power yeah yeah so be a great person you know but don't go out of your way to nurture things that just aren't of your best yeah capricorn energy double capricorn energy that don't make sense for you you know what i mean it's not Hold on, what number is this? 15, 21, 6, 21, June 21st. You could have moved in June, but it's time to let go of these self-perceived limitations. And like, if nothing else, like if people that, you know, aren't like on the same mental vibration as, as you or playing field, whatever, if it doesn't affect anything else, it definitely affects the way you see things for yourself and then your outlook like thinking the things that you desire will fail i feel like that just comes from the people that you're surrounding yourself with and it's time to be honest with yourself about that maybe that's how you're flipping the switch yeah you're realizing a lot of things cause depletion it's not really exhilarating i'm hearing it's more so like depressing i'm hearing unfortunately people i'm hearing that song <laughs> All oh, that's just embarrassing. I don't know. All oh, that's in my account at the Bank of America. Yeah, you're letting something go. Yeah. Yeah. It's like there's something that you want to do and people keep telling you, people that you're surrounding yourself with keep telling you that you can't do it, but you can. So the solitude is coming from the need to like isolate yourself so that you can get the proper downloads and not the opinions of other people you know what i'm saying the magician oh so okay two things one one of two things there's an aries or an aquarius i'm hearing january 9th January 14th or 5th something like that that you yeah more specifically Aries something that you've been nurturing for a very long time but there's this underlying fear it's taking you out of your power there's something in Aries or an Aquarius or something affecting you that you think makes you happy 888 but it, something's about to be cycled out eclipse I'm hearing Or, yeah, I was gonna say that. I was gonna say that. I just dropped a card. Someone. Fuck, I hate talking about that one. Someone could be trying to do something to manipulate your energy because um, you guys have come really far and they don't wanna lose you. You bring them a lot of happiness, you have a lot to offer, but, like, that's the energy. It's like. There, it's like it's coming off like, oh, I want what's best for you. It's something about the year 1989, but really, specifically, um, April 1989, I'm hearing, yeah, 1989, 19, 1985, sorry, yeah, 1989, I'm hearing, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, something about that year, it's like something's coming off like, oh, I want the best for you, but it's like really like, the thing that wants the best for you is like the thing that is like obstructing you slash hurting you type of thing. What I just say. What I just say. But you're realizing this. Yeah, you're moving away. You're re. You're, yeah, like literally everything I just said. You're moving away from this. You're moving away from this by yourself, like with your own aura or something like that. You've defeated the devil. Ooh, and everything that comes with him. Okay, yeah. So you got some type of idea in your dream and it allowed for lots of transformation. 
Wow, lots of self. Wow, lots of self transformation. You've been watering your own garden. Eight plus two is ten. Two different decks. Brand new beginning for you. Um, now I'm understanding why I wasn't allowed to really do these videos until a certain point because the energies I feel like were changing very rapidly, especially the last week and a half or so specifically. There were multiple times where I like attempted to do videos, try, you know, and it just it just wasn't working out. And 10%, yeah, 10% battery. And I'm realizing because shit is changing like really fast. Something about your creativity, you're tapping into some aspect of your creativity that's really new for you. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, yeah, I just got hot. Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Capricorn. King of Cups, you've taken your emotions out of a certain space. Yeah, you purified everything. Flip the switch, yeah. Some type of facade I'm hearing too. Be careful on how you're spending your money. Like if you're supposed to be saving money. Yeah. You avoided some type of tower moment. But just make sure. You're not giving into temptation um, by like overspending, if that makes sense. There's also some type of um, conversation or argument I feel like got a little bit disrespectful. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just hearing like disrespectful, disrespect. Yeah, out of balance, out of bounds, out of line, out of context. Like, I don't know, a lot of like misjudgment, miscommunication. Yeah, it's the swords. Everything I just said is the truth. All right. A lot of sleepless nights over this. A lot of wanting to like rush forward and like defend yourself but not knowing how to. Someone has red hair. So yeah, judgment. Judgment, justice, all that shit. Everything is about to be like the truth is about to be told. Yeah, tower moment with the emperor. Whew. Something's about to happen. This feels like, I was about to say the rapture and the devil came. Someone's gonna be exposed literally as the devil. I was literally about to say this feels like the rapture and then the devil literally popped out. Yeah, I gotta screw the fuck. <laughs> Judgment's about to be called on something. That's all I know. That's all I know. That's all I know. You've been patiently waiting. You've been very strong. Yeah. 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 <sighs> to whoever thought they were getting over on you, whoever thought they were juggling you, whoever thought they had an advantage over you. It's about a, to be a, like a lot of sleepless nights for these people. A lot of people fell for these traps here. Whew, sleepless nights for these people. Yeah, something has been like bestowed upon you, some type of dream, something that's a part of your justice, something that's been divinely guided for you. That's the truth here. You've been very strong through all like the controversy, apprehension, like the people coming at you with their sticks and you've been defending yourself, <laughs> you know, like, ah, you see what I'm saying, but this is the reward, the King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, everything you could imagine. So keep being strong, let karma do her thing, because I'm telling you, it's the rapture, like literally. Who is this word? Capricorn? Oh my god, 1444. I knew, I knew it had to be something like with <laughs> dealing with the Capricorn. Capricorn, I'm hearing May. May, May. Who's May? Taurus? 
you could be a Taurus watching this or have that highly aspected in your chart. But yeah, the gag is you're getting the you're getting out, I'm getting out of dodge. I'm hearing like I don't know what you got going on. <laughs> Some of you could be Hispanic. Shuffling for Capricorn. The chariot, what I just say, you're leaving, you're going, you're getting out of somewhere. 10, four, everything is okay. Take steps to ensure financial security of your children and loved ones. That's what I was saying about the spending thing. Set aside your concerns as well, though, like you're divinely taken care of. Indecision is the only thing that's holding you back. Make the choice. Wishes come true. Dreams come true. I wasn't even going to pull this card, but like, 